So, is there somewhere that natural love spirits can talk to divine love spirits? They're obviously in the same sphere as they're sitting in each other. Natural love spirits can talk to divine love spirits in any sphere, right from the first sphere onwards. There are divine love spirits who are existing or helping spirits in any one of those locations. The way that it's activated is just by longing for it. So as soon as a spirit in the spirit world on the natural love path has a longing to understand the divine path, there are literally, like often there are hundreds of spirits surrounding them on the divine love path wanting to assist them. So all they have to do is have a longing for it. That's all. And that's the thing that's difficult for them because up till then, what they had to do is manufacture everything intellectually. Now all they have to do is have a desire and they'll manifest the people who will try, try, teach them. But often what happens is they have that desire and some body, body pops into their life, right, imagine, and he's all bright and he's all like, you know, happy and, and he's not very serious at all and he's quite joyful and, and he's enjoying himself. And what do they think? Oh. <laughs> this, this guy's a like, a, like this guy's a Jesus nutcase or something, right? Because he's talking about Jesus and God and all those things as well, right? And he's talking about the divine truths. And so, can you see how your emotional condition is going to affect you listening to that? So quite often, what happens? Many of these spirits, all the way through their progression, have these longings occur, and many times, straight away, a spirit appears that can assist them. But what happens inside of them is emotionally they can't accept that assistance. So humility and a willingness to empty a cup, so to speak, is one of the most important things. One of the most important things. And an ability to be able to accept anything coming to you as a method of you progressing. Yeah. What would you like? I was just going to say, because there are natural love spirits also assisting. Exactly. There's, there's natural love spirits also rushing to people's assistance, don't forget. So you see this Jesus happy guy pop along, right? And you see this natural love, really stoic sort of natural love spirit pop along. And you're a naturally stoic person, you know, who's very intellectual. Who are you going to listen to? And you'll listen to him again and again and again until he can't help you anymore. So, as a six-sphere spirit, what's the worst thing that could happen if you decide to investigate and go back to the third sphere? Nothing. Because you can always go back to the sixth sphere because you have the development in natural love to go back to that sphere if you want to. So what have they got to lose? Nothing. Uh, because there's also a feeling of like lowering yourself in the process. So you've become so self-reliant that you believe you're God now. Many, in many cases you believe you're a fragment of God so you call yourself God, right? And so you get to that point where you become so self-reliant that you can't conceive that there's something that you must have missed out. So it's very important that spirits understand that process. Once they start understanding that process, they can actually begin progressing on the divine path. And when they progress on the divine path, they progress very rapid generally. So I've actually talked to spirits who have done this process, and within a few seconds of our time, they've gone from there to there to there to the celestial spheres. <coughs> Yeah, Ramford was one of those. So, our time, of course, is not their constraint. So they can assimilate huge amounts of information. They can actually work through huge amounts of emotion in a very short period if their desire is complete. So they can progress very, very rapidly. They must be curious then. Spirits in the sixth sphere must be curious because they're investigating things all the time. So if they could just be curious enough to try a different path... Yeah, that... But that, that question is motivated by your emotion. Because the reality is that many of them are not curious about the emotional side of things. They're very curious about the physical, the metaphysical, the spirit body, the spirit laws, and all those things. Very curious about all the things they know historically, but they are not curious about the soul stuff because it all sounds too much like, you know, honking your love Jesus too much, you know, like that kind of thing. To them. <laughs> Do you get what I mean by that? <laughs> no, honestly, the biggest issue all of you are facing when it comes to coming to these sessions and telling your friends about it is what? The Jesus, the Jesus issue, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Well, it's the same for all of these spirits too, by the way. Like, they all have the same issue. Like, they, and if, particularly if they're on the, on the natural love path, following maybe Buddha or some other 
some other really uh, wise teacher on earth who was who was living on earth. They following that person. They that occurs when they pass the spirit world. So they feel like they're still following that person. And then you know what what has Christianity done to them on earth? Most of the time, murdered them. Many like historically, what were the Crusades and all of those? Like, all of them were the murder of the so-called pagans, right? Now, that's their concept for many of them of Christianity. Sorry? Sorry. <laughs> so, the, the important thing to understand for them is it's just very, very difficult for them to face a lot of those questions. Karen? Uh, just wait for the mic for us. I've got a sixth spirit, natural spirit, one of all the yeah, they all became honk if you love Jesus people. <laughs> what do you feel on earth when you feel a friend of yours becomes a born again Christian? What do you feel? And it's the same feeling for them. You see? Can you see that? It's the same feeling. You think they're gone nuts, right? And many times that's the feeling that these same spirits have. They've gone nuts, they've gone well, you know, look at them now, but they're like, they're like jumping around all the time, laughing about everything. We're very serious, we like being serious. And they're very, you know, and so, so can you see straight away that there's a very different personality being shown? And, and, and because of the feeling inside the spirit who's in the sixth fear, there's a lot of judgment about that. And so they don't want to go on the path. 